Hey, I'm Alan Castleman, Hickman Realty Group. I'm going to do a little video tour uh, to try and help you understand the neighborhoods and options um, that are that are growing in North Jackson or just in Jackson as a whole. That's in a price range between two hundred fifty and three hundred fifty thousand dollars. In today's market, we're seeing a lot of people that are looking for that type of product, that two fifty to three fifty price range, and in a market where there's not a lot of inventory <clears throat> it's hard to look online and see what those homes look like understand what those neighborhoods look like because they're just not active on the market long enough to be able to get a a, a, a visual of what these homes look like and what the neighborhoods are so I'm just gonna do a drive-through nothing fancy we're gonna look at neighborhoods north of the interstate so North Jackson both on the northwest side and the northeast side we're going to go in that order, starting with Northwest and go over to end up on Northeast. Homes that are either new construction or very desirable neighborhoods that are newer construction, meaning built in the last seven years, five to seven years. Uh, and, and all of these should fall in that 250 to 350 price range. Let's go take a look. Okay, um, I'm on the Northwest side. I'm going to kind of start with a couple of neighborhoods. This is called Traditions. This is a really clean neighborhood of very modest size homes. Uh, as you can see, there's some people walking. Um, <clears throat> there's some sidewalks in here, which is actually kind of rare for Jackson. Um, these homes uh, can be on the, uh, as small as 1350 square feet up to about 2,000 square feet. They're all brick construction though, built within the last, I'd say five to seven years. Um, you can buy these around 250 to $270,000. I know one listed in here this week for 340 or something, something crazy like that. It's not worth it. I don't know what they were thinking. You can buy most of these in the 250 to, well, really two, I just sold one on the other street right over there for 230. So between 230 and 270 is pretty much what these have been running. All of them are either three or four bedrooms. And uh, this is in definitely a great location in Northwest Jackson. Um, we'll go and check out the same builder built one step up in size just across the road. I'm gonna take you over there and show you that. It's called Shiloh Springs. Okay, this is Shiloh Springs. So the homes were built by the same builder. Um, they have a very similar look, but they're a little bit larger. Uh, some of these also have three car garages, which is really nice. Uh, these are about 22 to 2,400 square feet. The lots are larger as well. Most of these are four bedroom and two bath or four bedroom, three bath. And again, some of them have the three car garage you can see right here. These have been selling recently between 290 and 320. I think these are really, really high value homes because of the location and the price and the amount of space that you get out of these. And they're also gonna continue building there and there. So the neighborhood is gonna continue to grow, which that's actually a good thing. That means the values will continue to rise as they build more homes. The new homes are gonna always cost more to build than these homes. So your values will keep going up. So this is Shiloh Springs. It's literally right across the road from Traditions, which is the neighborhood that I showed you last. Okay, this is Copper Creek. This is also on the Northwest side. And as you can see, it is a gated community. <clears throat> this has uh, turned out to be one of the hottest neighborhoods on the Northwest side uh, over the last two years. It's uh, almost doubled in size and they have built it completely out. So there's no more new ones being built in here, but there are a lot of good homes in here. Um, 
Everybody likes it because uh, good affordable sizes, gated community, Northwest. And it's one of our only uh, a handful of neighborhoods that actually have a community pool. That is a community pool and community clubhouse. We divide this neighborhood into two sections. I'm gonna take you down this section first. <clears throat> this is called, these are called the patio homes. Now the patio homes were designed to be smaller in nature. The lots are very narrow and the lots are a lot smaller. These typically run between 1,300 and 1,500 square feet. The idea is this might be empty nesters that don't really want a lot of yard to keep up with, but they want quality homes uh, and they don't need a lot of space. They don't have children, so they don't need a lot of extra bedrooms and things like that. Really, we just this one here just sold for 290 and I think it sold in four hours. So used to you could buy these things for 175, but they've really gone up to the 250 to 300 thousand dollar range. Okay, I'm back at the pool um, and the gate, as you can see. <clears throat> so I told you there's two types of property in here. So the patio homes are just that one street. The rest of these streets are more typical single family size homes. Uh, that means the lots are larger, more traditional yards, backyards, things like that. And the homes are a little bit larger. Instead of being limited to 1,500 square feet, you're gonna get into a lot of 2,000 square feet over here. These homes have been selling between 300 and 350. Actually, between 275 and 350. And these are actually all new back here. So starting right here where I'm at, all of this was built in the last year and a half. And there's about five different streets back here. And these homes are, I mean, practically brand new. Finding one of these for sale would be tough because, well, see, this one's not even done. They're still building on it. But finding one of these to resell would be tough because most of these people just moved into them. This is a really hot area though. If we could get you one in here, uh, it would be a, a very good investment. Okay, the kind of the last neighborhood that fits the mold of a, a newer 250 to 350 price range and still being on the Northwest side is gonna be uh, Shepherd's Field. Now, Shepherd's Field's been around for a while. This section I'm driving into is the original section. Some of this stuff was built in the mid-2000s, like 05, 06. Um, but there's like three different sections, and they've all got different sizes and price ranges. So I thought I would just kind of show you around a little bit of, uh, of all of them. Even though these are a little older, not considered new, they are very well built and very desirable, especially since it's connected to a neighborhood or a section that's much newer. This neighborhood also has a little community park and has a community lake. This section here, this original section, you, you can buy these typically between 275 and 350 or let's say 325. All right, this section is the newest section and the most expensive. These homes have been built in the last three to four years. These are all, by the way, the, the last section that I just left, they are um, on average about 22 to 2400 square feet. This section here is also the same. 22 to 2,500 square feet. These, if they resold any of these today, you'd probably be looking at 350 to 380. I do know of one that very well might be becoming available. I want to say it is, I want to say it's this one right here, 23 Jabez. Uh, either that or this one. But anyway, um, there's the community park, by the way. 
So at the end of this cul-de-sac is the community park. You can see on the other side of the park, there's, there's roof lines down there. Those are the larger ones as well. Some of those can get to 28, 2900 square feet, and that's where the, the community lake is. So this section, uh, most of these are four bedroom houses. And again, some of these can get close to 400. They are still building new ones back here. Um, I think that the new prices are gonna be 400. Uh, I'll take and show you those as well. This is another street, very similar to the one we just saw. Great, great homes through here. But I'll show you the new section. And these are also heading down the hill towards the lake eventually <coughs> as they finish this out i sold this one here it was 383 but i think in today's prices it's probably going to be much closer to the 399 price range but as you can see they've got several on the ground and are building uh, this is the third section of shepherd's field and as you can see these are much more modest sized homes um, these are going to be in the neighborhood of about 17, 1,700 square feet. Uh, I would say in today's market value, these are going to be in the 275 price range. So Shepherd's Field has three great options, kind of the original section, the higher end or largest section and then the the more modest size section and so you can get definitely get into this neighborhood in the 250 to 350 range of course you can always spend more if you found one in the larger uh, of the larger homes and you can get up into the 400 range okay so i am not in northwest jackson we are now in uh, what most people would consider, North, consider Northeast Jackson. This is Palmer Woods, though. This neighborhood's been being built now for the last ooh, 15 years. Most of the stuff that you're seeing in here right now that I'm looking at is built in the last seven to eight years. These are some great homes. Most of them, most of them are 2,000 square feet, 1,800 to 2,000 feet. And they've sold, well, today's market value, they would sell for about $299. The current building that's happening is back here in the back corner. Uh, a builder named Danny Kitzman is building. And he's got about 15 homes uh, that are under construction. Most of them are under contract already. There are three, I think two or three that are still available. So all of these here that you're looking at, they are mostly three bedroom, two baths, and I think the current price on these is around 320. Um, this is uh, the Bear Trace area. If you've seen any listings on Bear Trace, this is uh, this actually is Bear Trace that we're that we're looking at, and. Um, Again, there'll be more like this. I'm gonna take you to another neighborhood though that's on the back side of this neighborhood that's called Windstone. Okay, I'm leaving Palmer Woods right now. The, these homes actually are still Palmer Woods. But right here, we're transitioning over to another neighborhood. This is called Windstone. So this is Windstone. Straight ahead is a future Windstone. Uh, this will be Windstone as well over there. Uh, and this, these are current properties that they are, they have built in the last, uh, say three to five years. One of the things I like about uh, Windstone a little bit better than I like uh, with Palmer Woods is I like the width of the lots. The yards are a little bit larger. Uh, and the houses are spread out just a little bit more. Um, not a lot, but just enough so that um, the homes don't feel as close and compact. Most of these homes that you're seeing in here uh, in today's market would sell for about $299. So very similar priced homes uh, in Windstone um, that, that they have in Palmer. 
Now, this is another builder that's building, the only builder that builds here in Winstone is Mike McCollum. These homes are his per, his properties, and as you can see, um, very good looking, three and four bedroom homes, and they are in the neighborhood of about uh, 325 for these, 300 to 325, and they're building more. So there are homes available down at the end of this street. You can see these slabs. Those are properties that are gonna be available. They are not sold. Okay, we are now officially on the northeast side of Jackson. We just crossed over Highland Avenue onto the east side of Highland, and we are cruising up to an area where there's about four or five different neighborhoods being built. As you can see, lots of construction. Now, these are all and $500,000 homes, gated community. Uh, but this right here is where we're going to turn. That neighborhood right there is going to be the first one that we're going to look at. It's called Emerald Breeze. Uh, this is Emerald Breeze. It's really designed for people that are looking for maybe a smaller footprint, higher end homes in gated communities, kind of targeting empty nesters. Um, nice stuff though. A um, little wooded walking trail over here. Uh, pretty excited about how this is turning out. Uh, these homes are about 18 to 1900 square feet and um, it's hard to get these guys to price these homes because the materials are, are kind of going through the roof so they're all scared to price too early. Uh, the homes that they have sold in here have been around 310 so my guess is these are probably going to be more than that probably in the 350 25 maybe up to 350 price range uh, this is actually an entrance to the walking trail that will go into the woods right there and there's a pond down there so they still got some work to do on the neighborhood but it's gonna be really nice okay we are one neighborhood over next to where we just were this is called Walnut Trace North it's a different set of builders it's not a gated community uh, this is going to be a little more affordable though. Uh, these, the same builder that's building over in uh, Windstone. This is Mike McCollum and Bill Hill. Uh, as you can see, these homes are mo uh, modest sized brick homes uh, and they are about 1,700, 17 to 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. And today's market price on these is probably about uh, 275. There's about three more streets that they are putting in over here. Um, plenty of options to buy. Uh, and then this is actually gonna go to the last neighborhood that I'm gonna show you over here, and that's Kingston Creek. So if you look straight across the field over there, I don't know if you can see the houses that are built, that is Kingston Creek. That's the more modern farmhouse design. It's the only modern farmhouse design homes in North Jackson. Uh, and that street's gonna continue all the way to right here and eventually connect these two neighborhoods. So we'll go see Kingston Creek next. As I said earlier, we are right behind Walnut Trace North and Emerald Breeze. This is a little bit different vibe of a neighborhood. Just the styling is different. Uh, everything that we've seen so far has been <clears throat> uh, typical brick construction. Uh, this is more of the Borden Batten uh, painted exteriors, uh, modern farmhouse theme. Uh, right now, about half of these have already been sold and closed on and The others haven't been priced yet. So the sizes on these are about 17, let's just say for the average between 17 and 1900 square foot. There are several threes and four bedrooms in here. I shouldn't say that. There's actually a lot of three bedrooms, very 
few four. I think there might be one or two on this side that are four bedrooms. I do know that this builder, he's putting pocket offices, so small additional extra rooms in um, for uh, home workspace, whether that be uh, homeschooling or home work at home space. Uh, so these are three bedrooms, but they've all got a little extra office, small office space. Uh, so this is Kingston Creek. I did think of one more that we've got to look at <clears throat> that would also fall in the 250 to 350 range. You can actually see it right across this field. It's called Jackson Creek. Uh, I'm going to run around the corner and take a look at that real quick, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, this is Jackson Creek. It's basically one road over from all of the other new construction that we just saw. Now, this is a very um, high value neighborhood. Uh, it, it's actually built by the same people <clears throat> that built Traditions and Shiloh Springs over on the northwest side of town. Um, these are very similar floor plans. In other words, they all tend to look a lot alike. Um, but that's how he, the builder, uh, remains uh, to be uh, a high value. So these are typically three and four bedroom homes, brick construction. Uh, I think the average size of these is about uh, 1800 17 to 1800 square feet and he in today's market he's selling these for about 230 so they're gonna fall just under that 250 to 350 price range uh, they've got an entire section I'll drive down here where this lady is walking I was trying to avoid running over her uh, but as you can see they've got a whole new section that they're, they're ready to build and this guy can throw down he can build these in about 30 I'm sorry in about three months 90 days so there will be homes here a lot of them by this spring obviously we've seen a lot of stuff um, I hope that that's encouraged you to know that there are a lot of options in the 250 to 350 price range in Jackson it doesn't help us that there's not a lot of them on the market right now but at least you understand what the communities look like and maybe you could pick one or two that you favor and we could really be focused on those neighborhoods and focused on what that looks what those uh, areas look like when something comes on the market we can react quickly oh and by the way i've showed you everything north of the interstate the only thing else that that is being built let's just talk about new construction in the area that i know of that's in the 250 to 350 price range is there is a community out on bedford farms i'm sorry it's called Bedford Farms. It's out off of a, a, a road called Bedford White Road. It's at exit 85. It's only about five miles east of the main thoroughfares uh, in Jackson and um, uh, pretty easy to get to. Um, they are building homes out there right now that are about 1,800 square feet and they are selling them, well, we'll be selling them for about 290 to 300. So let's just say 299 will probably be the, the landing price once they get them built. They're building a whole, whole street of them right now. The other option is of course downtown. Uh, if you go downtown to Jackson Walk, there are builders that are actively building new product down there. Um, and so far, what we're seeing is a lot of 300 to 350 price ranges that are coming out of the ground. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some of those. I can go down and do a video of either one of those areas, either Bedford Farms or Jackson Walk. So if you got any questions about anything that you've seen, certainly reach out to me. You can call or text me anytime at 731-414-5862, or you can email me at a castleman at hickmanrealty.com. Thanks a lot.